Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, we are going to see some experiments related to osmosis phenomenon. In my previous video, I have already explained what osmosis process actually is. So in this video, we are going to see about two experiments that is the pig bladder experiment and the egg experiment. And in my future video, I will do the actual experiment to show the osmosis phenomenon as well. So let's understand about both the experiments one by one. So let's start. Osmosis is the reason for many natural phenomena to occur, especially in animal bodies. In my previous video, I have already explained what osmosis actually is. Osmosis is the phenomenon in which the solvent molecules flow, flows from lower concentrated region to higher concentrated region. That is, the solution in which there is more amount of solvent to the solution in which there is less amount of solvent. Then only solvent will flow, right? That process is called osmosis because they travel through the semi-permeable membrane. Semi-permeable membrane means those type of membrane that allows only the solvent molecules to pass through it and not the solute molecules. Okay. If the solute also passes that is diffusion not the osmosis. There are some experiments that can uh, that can be done in order to understand osmosis properly. So in this video I am going to explain the theoretical portion of that. The first one among them is the pig bladder the pig bladder experiment this is the first experiment that can be used to show the osmosis phenomenon now for this experiment some apparatus are required some apparatus are required those apparatus are a thistle funnel a thistle funnel a pig bladder pig bladder Pig bladder is very hard to be found, uh, so let's understand it theoretically only. Beaker, beaker and distilled water, and distilled water, and finally, and salt solution, salt solution. So these are the apparatus that is required for uh, this experiment to be done. Here, this distilled water and salt solution are in chemical part. But these are the things that we need. Now, let's see what we actually need to do. We need to take a thistle funnel. The thistle funnel actually looks like this, right? Now, we need to take this uh, pig bladder and we need to put it like this in such a way that there won't be any gap for anything to get inside it. This is the first step, that is figure A. We need to take a thistle funnel and we need to put the a pig bladder in the open part of this thistle funnel so that nothing can enter from this portion. Pig bladder actually acts as semi permeable membrane. Now in the second step, what we need to do, we need to take a beaker in which there is liquid, distilled water, okay, we are keeping a distilled water. Now here we also put the salt solution, this is the salt solution, okay, salt solution we can take sugar solution as well but salt is cheaper than sugar that's why uh, i suggest you to take salt solution if you want to do this experiment actually so see now we put this thistle funnel into this beaker this is distilled water okay this is distilled water now we get a figure like this right this is the thistle funnel and here this is the marking the solution that is the sugar solution was up to this a this is the marking point now if we leave it for some hour then what will happen slowly the level of the sugar solution rises slowly the level of the sugar solution rises initially it was at point a now this will rise to b it will reach till b and after some time if we notice the thistle funnel again then the water level will be here but the sugar solution level will be somewhere here you can see over here the level of sugar solution is higher over here this is c this is a this is b and this is 
see then obviously the level of the sugar solution increases we get this type of result but how does this happen what is the reason for this happen i have already told you this pig bladder acts as semi permeable membrane that means it will allow the solute to pass but the solvent sorry it will allow the solvent to pass but the solute will not pass in distilled water is there any solute particles no but in salt solution there are some solute particles then obviously this is concentrated region right then what will happen water molecules will start to enter through this semi permeable membrane okay it will start to enter through this semi permeable membrane and the level of sugar solution keeps on increasing keeps on rising because more and more water molecule is entering in this here also this is the concentrated region right salt solution that is, the, there is still salt solution and this is distilled water there is no uh, there is no impurity or there is no salt over there then obviously water will keep on increasing through this pig bladder that is semi permeable membrane and finally this process will stop at point c somewhere at point c we are considering it arbitrarily they, that may be anywhere inside the liquid layer or outside doesn't matter but yeah we will see some point where the phenomenon stops now how did this volume increase osmosis because water molecules are entering from outside that is osmosis so by this method we can prove osmosis is occurring we can know that osmosis phenomenon is actually possible and it actually occurs now why does that stop now let's understand why this phenomenon stops at c now see over here this was the this was the upper level of this salt solution and this is the upper level of this water we can measure this height by measuring this height we can measure the weight of the liquid so the phenomenon the phenomenon stops stops at c because because the weight because the weight of the salt solution because weight of the salt solution becomes equal to becomes equal to the osmotic pressure osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is the minimum amount of pressure that is required to stop the osmosis phenomenon so when the water sugar solution level reaches to point c the osmosis phenomenon stops because the weight of this water becomes equal to the os uh, osmotic pressure now this is the rising liquid we can see there is this rising liquid rising liquid and here the rising liquid actually stops so this is the pig bladder experiment we can get everything thistle funnel uh, picker distilled water salt solution in lab but we have to buy this pig bladder from somewhere to show this experiment you can also use parchment paper or cellulose in order to prove this osmosis phenomenon this is the first experiment now let's see the second experiment that is even more easier to understand and uh, that is also asked in examination that we can do in laboratory as well in my in my future video in my next video i'll do the experiment that is the second experiment in the laboratory and show you how the uh, osmosis phenomenon actually is true so let's see the next one the egg experiment is even easier than the pig bladder experiment to show the osmosis phenomenon as you might have already guessed as we are talking about the egg experiment then we will need some egg right so first of all let me write the apparatus that we need apparatus required first of all you will need three eggs eggs of similar size similar size okay don't take one big one one small one take three eggs of similar size that might not be exactly similar but uh, nearly equal size okay then we need three big two beakers two beakers also we need dilute axial solution and we might need a uh, spoon and we need salt solution as well 
सो दीज आर दी एपेरेटर्स एंड केमिकल्स दैट वी रिक्वायर टू डू द एग एक्सपेरिमेंट सो वट डू वी डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लुक इट यूर लेट मी ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एग दिस लुक्स लाइक एग राइट सपोज दिस इज द एग नाउ इन एग देर इज दिस लेयर इन साइड इट दैट इज लाइक अ सेमी परमिएबल मेम्रेन ओके एक्चुअली दिस इज ब्लैक मार्कर नॉट अ ब्लू वन सो लुक इट यूर दिस इज सेमी परमिएबल मेम्रेन और यू कैन सिंपली से द मेम्रेन ऑफ द एग दिस इज द एग सेल एग सेल एंड द मैटेरियल पार्ट और एग मैटर एग मैटर और द यूजफुल मैटर दैट वी ईट बाई इटिंग ऑमलेट इज इन साइड एड ओके सो दिस इज द कम्प्लीट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एंड एग now we need to peel this off we need to uh, remove this egg cell then how will we do if we try to peel this off by ourselves then obviously it won't be possible because this will just burst then what do we need to do we need to dip it in a dilute hcl we need to dip it in dilute hydrochloric acid then what will happen if we dip it in dilute hydrochloric acid for 3 or 4 hours then this egg cell will be removed this will get dissolved there is a reason actually there is a chemical reaction that happens over there uh, let me first of all write it this is the membrane membrane and this is the material or matter we can say okay now there will be a reaction over here that helps us to dissolve this egg cell actually the egg cell of the egg is made up of calcium carbonate this egg cell is made up of calcium carbonate egg cell and if we dissolve it or if we put it in dilute hydrochloric acid then what will happen we will get calcium carbonate sorry calcium chloride calcium and chlorine will form calcium chloride there is h and there is o then obviously it will form water and it will form carbon dioxide as well now to balance it we need to put two over here so this is the complete balance reaction that occurs when the egg is kept in dilute hydrochloric acid for 3 or 4 hours this is a slow process okay now because of this the egg cell converts into uh, carbon dioxide and water then obviously this will be removed and after 4 or 5 hours or 3 or 4 hours we can remove that remaining part of the egg and we can start our experiment now for that let me erase this portion okay this is a simple reaction that is taught in school level as well now we need to take three such eggs we need to uh, remove the egg cell of three eggs and after that we need to put one of the egg we need to put one of the egg in the between for our theory for our process for the reference for our reference we will compare the size of other eggs with respect to this we won't do it we are we won't do this egg anything okay we just have to keep this egg in something now we will take two beakers one beaker like this another beaker like this and in first beaker there is distilled water this is distilled water distilled water and in the second figure sir sir in the second beaker we need to take salt solution salt solution we can take salt solution or we can take sugar solution but but as salt solution is cheaper you can prefer that now look at here if we put the remaining two eggs in both of them like this this is the egg first of all the size will be same the size will be same but after some time as the time passes then we can observe the egg that is put in distilled water starts to swell that is its size starts to increase now the size becomes bigger and the egg that is kept in salt solution its size decreases that is it shrinks this is the experimental observation that we observe in the laboratory if we do this experiment but what is the reason for that why the uh, the egg that is kept in this distilled water swells gets bigger and that kept in salt solution gets smaller 
then the reason is osmosis look at here there is some matter inside it right it has some density obviously and you can say this is a solution and if we keep it in distilled water then what will happen distilled water will be dilute as compared to this inside material then from outside water molecules will start to get in and as a result of that the size of this egg starts to increase slowly it will increase that's why it takes some time you can also do this with potato you can uh, chop potato and you can make small small pieces six or seven, you know, whatever like three or six equal pieces of uh, you can french fries like that okay not actually french fries but that in that shape you can chop a potato and you can do this experiment in the same way you can find one of the uh, one of the potato part increases and another one decreases this is what we absorb and the same thing is absorbed in a case as well and in this case in salt solution case obviously there is solute particles in so in this water then uh, then obviously the density or this inside material will behave as dilute for this case this will be concentrated solution and this will be the dilute solution and as a result of that the water molecules from inside will start to come outside like this and this decreases the size as a result of that the egg actually sinks so this is the egg experiment that helps us to prove the osmosis phenomenon in my uh, next video i am going to show you the ex egg experiment how it actually uh, how it actually happens and how to perform the egg experiment in laboratory that you can also perform so in this video we saw uh, some experiments related to the osmosis phenomenon that's all in this video i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video